Hello everyone. Today, we will be discussing the rapid life of the Rufus Hummingbird. Rufus Hummingbirds are small, even when compared to the other members of their family. These spectacularly dressed birds measure only 8 centimeters in length, with a wingspan of a little over 10 centimeters. These tiny wings have to work extra hard, beating at a speed of 75 beats per second during normal flight. During the male's courtship flight, this speed gets revved up to 200 beats per second. This incredibly fast movement is what allows hummingbirds to stay in one place as they drink the nectar from a flower or catch an insect from midair. This speed is also what causes that distinctive humming noise. The Rufus hummingbird is sexually dimorphic, meaning that the males and the females of the species have differences in both their plumage and size. For the Rufus, this manifests in two ways. Firstly, the male is much flashier than the female. This is especially noticeable with the sparkly orange throat patch that adult males use to attract females and challenge other males. The second noticeable difference between the two sexes is that the female is larger. This is because she needs extra energy to both produce and incubate eggs. Despite their differences, both sexes of the species are highly aggressive. When traveling to new locations, they refuse to share with the native population of hummingbirds. If the rufus happens to be near the same food source as a native hummer, what results is often a quick fight and an even quicker retreat on the part of the native. This Napoleonic disposition is certainly impressive, but its scale is only truly understood when put into the context of migration. The flight of the rufus hummingbird begins in spring and spans 4,000 miles. This is an incredibly long distance for even the largest birds, so the fact that the rufus performs this flight twice a year makes it exceptionally impressive. During this migratory period, the bird will make week-long stops all over the western United States. Of course, a break in hummingbird standards is still buzzing with activity. These breaks are where most of their skirmishes happen, since they need to fuel up before continuing to either their breeding grounds in Canada or their wintering sites all over Mexico. The breeding period is as fast-paced as any part of the hummingbird's life. If the male can get over his tendency to chase away females, he will perform one of two aerial dances in an attempt to impress a prospective mate. If the female is flying, he will zip in a vertical oval pattern several times. If she is perched, this dance will change to a rapid horizontal figure eight to win her affections. If the two decide to mate, they will approach each other in midair and will breed on a nearby branch. Immediately following mating, the two part ways and may even seek other partners in the same day. With the father or fathers out of the picture, the task of building a nest and caring for the young falls entirely on the mother. Within three days of breeding, she has already found a suitable nesting area and wastes no time in constructing the cup-shaped nest. This nest is intricately woven with soft plant material and spider silk. This natural fiber is very resilient and is sticky enough to give the mother the added benefit of being able to camouflage the nest. She will place bits of lichen and bark directly onto the outside of the nest until it looks like just another bump on the small, thin branch the hummingbird calls home. The nest is only two inches in diameter, with an interior diameter of only a single inch. This means that when the mother goes to lay and incubate her eggs, she droops out on both ends. Despite how uncomfortable the nesting situation can appear, the mother is a diligent parent. She will lay a clutch of two to three tiny white eggs, which she will then incubate for 15 days. When the eggs hatch, the chicks are tiny and helpless. The mother will feed these chicks by drinking nectar and eating bugs, and then regurgitating into their mouths. Like everything in the hummingbird's life, the fledgling period is fast. After a speedy 15 days, the chicks are fully grown and ready to fly away. This means there is merely a month between the moments the eggs are laid 
and the moment they reach independence. Sadly, this also means that the average lifespan of the Rufus Hummingbird is merely a single year. That being said, the oldest member of the species on record lived to be eight years old, so there are certainly some outliers. Before the end of this video, I'd like to bring awareness to the fact that the Rufus Hummingbird has been losing population within their range over the last few decades. This decrease is around 2% of the population every year, and is drastic enough that they are in danger of becoming a threatened species. This is partially a result of habitat loss, and partially a result of new threats that have cropped up on their long migration route. Many of these new threats are a simple result of ignorance, and are preventable if you take the right steps. Firstly, domestic cats that are allowed to roam outdoors during hummingbird migration can create a sizable dent in their population. Keeping cats indoors is the simplest way to save hummingbirds from this threat. The other preventable cause of death comes from window strikes. A glass window often shows a reflection of the outside world, tricking hummingbirds into flying into the window and dying from internal injury. Putting up window decals can drastically reduce the number of deaths from this cause. There are countless other ways to reduce window strikes, but that might be a topic for another video. Lastly, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something new. I certainly did. I'd like to give a special thank you to E. Stern for suggesting the Rufus Hummingbird, and remind you all that if there's a species you'd like covered, to let me know in the comments below. As always, my sources are in the description if you'd like to learn more. Until next time!